Greetings, beloved. Welcome to Narrowgate Channel. Another beautiful day our Father God has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad in it. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. I welcome those who just joined Narrowgate Channel. Let us learn together. It's Operation Give Jesus Your 100%. In 2023, beloved, the door of the ark is closing. The honors lies on individuals. If you want to be part of the ark, you have to run for your life. Our Father is wrapping up. He said, Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Praise the name of the Lord. We serve a powerful God, beloved, the great I am, the one and only risen king. In him are hid all the treasures of knowledge and wisdom. Hallelujah. We continue, beloved. Today I'm going to share this message that our Father is against artificial insemination, beloved. He is against IVF. In vitro fertilization. The other one is known as IUI, which stands for intrauterine insemination. These are the procedures that those who are battling to fall pregnant, they go through. And our father revealed that he is against them, beloved. And when you look at it, I, I will just uh, uh, read for you that what happened when people go through these procedures. So during this procedure of IVF or in vitro fertilization, a woman's egg is removed from her ovaries and is fertilized by a sperm. And this is done in a laboratory. And that fertilized egg by a sperm, it is called an embryo. And then they will take that embryo and put it back into a woman's womb to grow and to develop. Our father has been teaching us, beloved, so many abominations that are happening. He taught us that science it is from the kingdom of darkness. We know that the enemy, he wants to make himself God. That is why he say to those who cannot have children, that I will give you ideas of how to do it. When God has meant that it must happen naturally. So we can see clearly, beloved, that we are living under the deception of the enemy. And we thought that this was a solution to those who are battling to fall pregnant. And in the process of artificial insemination, a doctor insert a sperm directly into a woman's cervix, fallopian tubes or uterus. So let us Think about it. Where do they get the sperm for them to insert it to the woman? Where do they get the sperm to fertilize the egg as uh, the procedure of IVF? So this one of artificial insemination, the doctor insert sperm directly into a woman's cervix. So it means that they must have a seed with them. And how do they get that seed without sinning? Because we know the word of God in the book of Genesis chapter 38, when you read from 8 to 10, the story of Onan, the son of Judah, he spilled the seed while he was supposed to impregnate his brother's wife. And God slayed him. He killed him for doing that. And he has taught us that spilling the seed is a sin before him. So the enemy knows very well. A seed of a man has to go to a woman's ovary naturally as God intended. 
Our father revealed that he is against all these procedures, beloved. Whether it's um, artificial insemination where the doctor will insert the sperm to uh, the woman's ovary or whether it is IVF, which is in vitro fertilization, where they will remove the egg from the ovaries and take a sperm in a labor laboratory and they will put them together and take that and insert it into the woman. Whichever way, if it's not a natural way, our father is against it, beloved. Our father closes and open our wombs as women, beloved. And we see it clearly in the word of God. When you read the story of Rachel, I will read it for you in the book of Genesis, chapter 29, verse 31. The word of God says, And when the Lord saw that Leah was hated, he opened her womb, but Rachel was barren. So we can see it clearly, beloved, that God can open the womb of a woman and close it as well. So the word of God says that he opened the womb of Leah. Leah was Rachel's sister. They were both married to Jacob. So Rachel's womb was not open. She was barren. She did not have children. And this we see from way back, beloved, even during the time of Adam. The two wives of Lamech were sisters as well. And one of the sisters, Zillah, she was barren while her sister had children. Until God opened her womb. Throughout the Bible, beloved, we can see that there were women who were barren, whom God closed their wombs and opened their wombs at a later stage. Sarah was one of them as well. We know that she was barren for a long time. And God blessed her with Isaac. Isaac's wife as well, Rebecca. The word of God says she did not have children for a while. And God blessed them with Jacob and Esau. I read for you again with Rachel and Leah that God opened the womb of Leah and closed the one of Rachel. And I will read again in Genesis chapter 30, verse 22. The word of God says, And God remembered Rachel, and God hearkened to her, and opened her womb. So God can open and close our wombs as women, beloved. As you continue to read as well, Hannah, we know. Um, Elizabeth, the mother of john the baptist so god wants us to trust him beloved not to resort to the lies of science think about it the enemy can easily manipulate even that embryo so many things can go wrong in all these procedures god is against it because satan wants to make himself god it is only God, beloved, who has ordained marriages. And after marriages, he said, be fruitful. We have to wait on him and hold on to that promise. Praise the name of the Lord. So our father is against these procedures, beloved. Everything about it, it's a sin before the Lord. The spilling of a seed, it's a sin before the Lord. For those beloved who have done these procedures out of lack of knowledge, please let us ask for forgiveness. For those who were planning to do it, please do not go ahead. Let us look to God. I have read for you, beloved, that he opened the womb of Rachel. So God can open and close the womb of a woman. Please let us trust him.
The enemy knows what he is doing and he knows that we are sinning when we resort to these procedures. So that's it for this message. I love you all. Stay blessed as we continue to learn. Bye-bye.